Let's do Kapayapa. We'll just take a little bit. Good morning. Uh, Mass will begin very shortly. However, I wanted to review our song for the preparation of the gifts. It's called Kapaya Pa'an, Peace Be With You. And the word Kapaya Pa'an means peace in Tagalog, which is the language of the Philippines. So we just wanted to review that with you, just the chorus so that you have it in your ears and you can sing along with us. May God be with you to protect and lead you. Kapaya pa'an, peace be with you. Hope and justice, everlasting. that together. May God be with you to protect and lead you. Kapaya peace be with you. Hope and justice everlasting Thank you. Again, the word is kapayapaan. Let's all say that together. Kapayapaan. Thank you. Good morning once again. Welcome to St. Philip the Apostle Catholic Church on the second Sunday of Easter. Before Mass starts, please be sure to turn off your cell phones and let's all stand and say hello to one another. Our gathering song this morning is This Day Was Made by the Lord. Let's all join our voices together in singing This Day Was Made by the Lord. This day was made by the Lord, let us rejoice, let us be glad. This day was made by the Lord, let us rejoice in salvation. I thank you, your love is eternal. You have given me life, you have given me life. I will proclaim the wonders you do. Stone is the cornerstone. Is the cornerstone. 
the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit. Grace for our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. How are you this morning? Well, second Sunday of Easter. And today is also Divine Mercy Sunday. And the Mass this morning is offered for Napoleon Casillo Jr. and Carolyn Harrington May she, on her birthday. So let's bow our heads and pray for them now. So during Easter season, you well know we're given that option, penitential rite or renewal of, ba- of our baptism with the sprinkling rite. So at least for my masses during Easter season, we'll be doing renewal of our baptism. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of people you've made your own, increase the grace you've bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they've been washed, by whose spirit they've been reborn, by whose blood they've been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. invite all of our children to come forward now for children's dismissal.
So today in the gospel, we're going to hear about one of the apostles named Thomas, who wasn't sure what he wanted to believe or not believe. So after you come back, I want to make sure you're clear about what you believe, we all believe. So may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take the word of God with you as you call. Take the seeds of God's word and make them grow. Go in peace to serve the world. In peace to serve the world. Take the love of God, the love of God with you as you go. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them. For those who owned property or houses, would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and place them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Joyful shout of victory in the 
tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is Rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is Christ is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and victory that conquers the world is our faith, who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes in Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them. Whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. 
So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, put my finger into the nail marks, put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. It's to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't... Something quickly. I don't want to forget to do this again after Mass. I'm going to ask now what's on my mind. Luke, when was the baby born? What was the date? What was the date? The 19th. A new dad, first, first child. But you missed by one day. I was supposed to wait till the 20th. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, question you should ask is, it's an important gospel today with Thomas, I won't believe, and so forth. With, with that being a focus for the Mass for so many years, why did Pope John Paul II make today Divine Mercy Sunday. As I've had, I've had people say, you know, well then now there's a conflict, priests say, now there's a conflict, which one am I supposed to talk about? Thomas, Divine Mercy, and so forth. Well, let me, let me try to put it in context and see, see if it makes sense to you. This all happens on Easter Sunday, by the way, on the evening of Easter Sunday, when you, you read the Gospel of John, it's the same day he rose from the dead and then he appears to the apostles and don't listen to that stuff that says he walked through walls. It doesn't say he walked through a wall. It says he, he was not there and then he appeared and was there. Walls were not an obstacle to him. He, suddenly he was there because, you know, in his glorified body, he's not bound by space, by time, or by anything anymore. Back to who he is. Uh, um, the first thing he says to them then, the very first thing he says when he, come, when he appears to them is, peace be with you. Now, what would you expect that the next thing he says would be? You know, if you're asking me if I'm, if I'm just thinking about it without having read it, I'd say, well, he'd probably say, you know, I told you this and you didn't understand. Do you understand now? <laughs> or, okay, I'm gonna remember what I taught you now. You have to practice it. Love one another as I love you. Or, go build my church. I mean, or, Remember the Last Supper, it's Thursday night, when I said to you, do this in memory of me. Start doing it in memory of me now. Relying. But th those aren't any of the things that he said. What instead, what instead he says, second thing, as the Father has sent me, I'm sending you, whose sins you forgive are forgiven. The very first thing he talks about after he says that peace be with you is mercy. The very first thing, mercy, whose sins you forgive are forgiven. The, so I, I kind of think that's why the Pope chose today to do it because that, that's Jesus' emphasis well, as soon as he rises from the dead. He also says whose sins you retain are retained because we've got to be sorry for sin. But that idea of mercy, mercy, mercy. So when you combine that with divine mercy, how many of you know divine mercy? Uh, um, how many of you know about it already? Should be everybody because 
We talk about this every year for years. It should be everybody. And we did have a Divine Mercy group going here for a while, but then my fault didn't occur to me. When Miriam died, nobody picked it up yet. Starting with the novena that starts on Good Friday and should have ended today, that she led that for the last six years. And, and we're looking for somebody to, to get that going again. Because it should, again, my fault. It didn't occur to me that Miriam was gone and nobody's picked this up. But anyway, Divine Mercy has to do with Sister Faustina, Polish nun in the 1930s, who was receiving visions from Jesus. And his emphasis to the apostles was his emphasis to her. He said, the world is in a terrible place right now. I need all of the people who follow me to pray for mercy for the world. Simple message. You know, I, she, now, part of the vision, she got visions of purgatory and of hell and of, and of other things. But that was the main message. You remember he said in the gospel, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith on the earth? And 20th century, and let me, let me say this, I don't know, figuratively and literally, 20th century was hell. That's the one I lived, born in and lived in. World War I, World War II, Korean War, Cold War. Uh, how many hundreds of millions of people died through violence in the 20th century? And, you know, as violence went up, what do you think faith is doing? It's going down. I'm reading a book right now, The Coming Persecution, and, you know, it's by an author who teaches in Rome, saying, just be ready. It's, it's, it's going to get worse. You know, it occurred to me reading this book that here we really do live in a bubble. When you start reading about all of the persecution that's going on in countries around the world, the Middle East, some of these countries, the, the cradle of Christianity, it's almost disappeared completely. Christians in the Middle East, were, which was the birthplace, have had to either flee or be killed. They have, they have two choices. But it's not just there, you know, it's, it's increasing in India and in Pakistan and Nigeria and all around the world. And, and you know, everybody knows what's, what happens here. The, the, you know, trying to make faith smaller and smaller and put it in a box so it doesn't affect anybody. And you know, all you can do is talk about it personally. He said it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Uh, and so, what is Jesus' answer for all of this? Punishment? No, it's not punishment. What is he asking us to do to pray for? Mercy. The same thing he told the apostles. I want you to take people out and, and take to them my mercy. And that's why, we, that's why we put it today. And so, I don't know where they are. We had booklets for the divine mercy. There's a chaplet that goes with it. Anybody? Stand up if you know the chaplet. The divine mercy chaplet. Come on, stand up if you know it. Thank you, Good. Wait, don't, don't sit down yet. Should have occurred to me, you know, we could have put it up there so everybody could see it on the screen. It should have occurred to me to do that and, and, um, and prayed it together. But simply repeat it after me. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, now, if I don't say it fast, I'm going to lose it. A few minutes, body and blood, soul and divinity. Help me here now. Suddenly, I'm on pressure. Come here. Your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for sin. Okay, go, go up to the mic. <laughs> Father, through the body and blood, soul and divinity, your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus, atonement for our sins and sins of the whole world. When I say it slowly, I get messed up. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Go ahead, ma'am. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. And you say, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Okay, so, when I say it slowly, I mess up. So help me. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, 
soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. <laughs> Thank you. And then we say, referring to Good Friday, the leader says, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, and our response is? Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the say, and you go around the rosary and say it 10 times. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Now, let me ask you, would you like to see anyone go to hell? So why aren't you praying Divine Mercy Chaplet? That's what he told us to do. Pray for mercy on the world because things are going to get worse where faith is concerned at least. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get worse. He talks about it in his prophecies to the apostles. So we should be doing that all the time. And he says particularly pray that when somebody is near death for them. When you go into a hospital to anoint somebody or somebody's home, there's a rite we go through and there are prayers in the book and so forth. But there's a particular part that calls for laying on of hands. And during laying on of hands, we'll do some silent prayer when somebody's dying. What do you think I say? Silent prayer when somebody's dying. What do you think I say? It's not in the book. What do you think I say? Divine Mercy Chaplet. That's what I. That's what I do for that person at that time. So, if I had it up there, we would do it. But let's do M. Starting from the beginning, can you lead us in one decade? Sure. Go ahead. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement, atonement for our, our sins, sins and, and those, those of the whole, whole world. world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Now, presuming that we had done all five decades, it ends with... Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. world. Three times. Holy God, Holy, holy Mighty, Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, one have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. world. Holy God, Holy, holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. world. Um, this, by the way, when Sister Faustina, was one of the visions she had of Jesus, he said to her, make an image of me of what you see right now because he put his hand up and mercifully pulled open his, his tunic and he had two rays coming out, red for his blood and white for water. And we have an image of it sitting there, right there. And he said, let the world remember that when I died, I poured mercy out onto you. And, and what did Thomas, when he, the doubting Thomas, when he said, I won't believe? And he saw Jesus, and what did he receive? Mercy. So that he could say, first one to, to address him exactly like that, my Lord and my God. The, for the one who doubted received mercy, so he could say, this is my God. Let's start praying for mercy for the world. It's what we're asked to do. Amen. Thank you, Adam. Let's stand. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, present for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, 
was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Giver of heaven, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who together in the Son is glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and I for the world to come. Amen. Now we bring our intention before the risen Christ who hears and answers our prayers. For Pope Francis to have, re to have renewed strength for his mission in our church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear a For our government leaders to govern in truth and with compassion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For men and women to accept a religious call from God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all newly initiated to grow in faith through the sacraments, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the sick, especially Francisco Santiago, Tony Trillo and Ruben Landa, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For all who have died in faith, especially Felisa Narito Zari and Mariano Villatoro, we pray to the Lord. For each of the petitions read in our Book of Intention, especially for Napoleon Cosa Jr., RIP, and Caroline Harrington for her birthday, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. For whom this Mass is being offered, let us now pause in silence and to add our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Loving God, hear the prayer of your church as we celebrate with joy the resurrection of your Son. We ask us through Christ our Lord. Our song for the pre preparation of the gifts is Kapayapaan, Peace Be With You.
May my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, accept the oblations of your people that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism we may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just a duty in our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time above all, to allow you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. And therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land and every people exults in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing the hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, indeed holy O Lord and all you've created rightly gives you praise for through your Son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the Sun to a setting pure sacrifice may be offered to your name and therefore, Lord, we implore you, by the same Spirit, make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration. They may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We 
Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial, the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, his ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. And may he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your apostles and martyrs, with St. Philip, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, we'll say our bishop, the order of bishops, the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen to the prayers of this family whom we've summoned this morning before you. Listen to the prayers we offer for Carolyn Harrington and all of those prayers in our book of intentions. In your compassion, Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to Napoleon Casillo Jr., to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. And there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. And through him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Our communion song is the Supper of the Lord. Precious blood, he precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Hear the Lord prepares the feast Come 
Let us pray. Mighty God, grant that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be seated again, please. Announcements for today. Um, tonight, the Newman Center is having their next film night after the 5 p.m. Mass. This is going to be Boys Town. Now, I'm almost afraid to ask because the, the stars Spencer Tracy and Mickey Rooney. How many know who Spencer Tracy is? How many know Mickey Rooney? That went down. If you remember, if you remember both, you know what that means. You're old. <laughs> anyway, our, our caregiver support ministry, Nourish, is having a meeting this Tuesday, 7 p.m., over in the parish center. And that's particularly for people who take care of those who are sick or for, for or have to take care of parents and other things. But it's, it's meant to nourish caregivers. So Tuesday at 7 p.m. Uh, next Sunday, the um, Vincent de Paul is having Bucket and Bundle Burrito Sunday after Mass. So that's uh, one of their big fundraisers. And the truck will be here also for part of the day that will have donations of good used clothing and household items. Don't bring the dirty stuff with holes in it that nobody, that nobody wants. If you have clothes you want to give away, bring good, good stuff, please. Father John and the Sacred, Ho Sacred Heart Retreat House are having a women's three-day silent retreat experiencing God's transformational love. So all that information, dates and everything is in the bulletin that you can't take because the bulletins didn't get delivered this week. We looked all over for them and they never showed up. So I know everybody kept last week so you can look in there. And, and finally, um, we are pushing, particularly we pray for mercy, we are pushing people to do adoration with us. And you will be hearing more about that, about signups and hours, because we knew, you know, we have adoration Monday through Friday here in the church all day long. So um, you're going to be hearing more about it. Stand up, Fanny, stand. If anybody wants to know more about adoration and signing up, she'll be talking to you soon, but you can see her after Mass. Okay? Thank you. And there is coffee and donuts today. Good. All right. Let's stand. And. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So in the name of Jesus our Lord, whom you take to the sick now, we send you to bring the Eucharist to them that they'll be fed with this holy food for their journey on earth. With the prayers of all of us who are at Mass with you today, may God bless you in this ministry. May he bless everyone here. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, Mass is ended. Let's stay in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you. Prayers. You know, just one second, sweetheart. I've been debating whether to say this or not. First, have a good week. But I dropped it last year because of all the hassle about, the, about pray for the Dodgers. <laughs> but even if I don't say it, I think it. So, <laughs> okay, Have a good week. Thank you. Please join me in saying the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. This is Liliana. She did great today. Thank you, Liliana. Let us go forth singing our final song, Alleluia, Love is Alive.
find that paper. Pray that it's empty, a promise fulfilled. God who is with us is here with us still. He is here. It's true. 